new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. Hello, I'm Jen Hillman, and today I'm going to demonstrate some massage techniques, and we'll be comparing the difference between Swedish massage and deep tissue massage. Before we get started, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about Anna's tattoos. Pretty cool, huh? So to get started, I usually start with a nice long Swedish stroke. And this is a great chance to start to apply some oil on the skin. In this case, I've already applied some oil. So I already have a nice glide. So I just work my hands from the tops of the shoulders slowly down the spine, all the way down to the hips. And when I reach the sacrum, I'll just give a gentle little push to stretch and lengthen the low back and circle my hands around the tops of the hips and back up to the shoulders. And you can do this a few times. It's a really nice way to start to help your partner relax. And just start releasing tension. And this is also a chance for you to start to get to know your body, your partner's body, and understand maybe where they're carrying a lot of tension. And just give a gentle little push at the sacrum lengthen through the low back and then circle the hands around the tops of the hips and back up to the top of the shoulders. When I come to the top of her shoulders here, I like to really make contact with the upper part of the trapezius and really press the heels of my hands along the top edge of her shoulders. A lot of people carry a tension in the top parts of the shoulders here, so this is a great way to start loosening up these muscles. And you can apply that firm pressure in between the shoulder blades, another hot spot for a lot of tension. And all of these techniques are classified as Swedish technique, this long fluid movement very continuous, flowing, circular, and just helps improve circulation and starts to soften the muscle tissues. And so I would always start with Swedish massage techniques before I do any deep tissue work because it starts to allow the more superficial muscles to relax so that when I'm ready to work more deeply, and the muscles are already ready, and I don't have to go in there and work as hard. So you really want to warm someone up before you start working super deep. So now I've just come over to work in between her shoulder blade and the spine here on her left side. And I'm just working my thumbs from her spine in towards this shoulder blade. And for most people, you'll probably notice some crunchy spots or some little road humps along the way. These are knots. Those are the tight pockets of tension. This is where you want to focus your attention during your deep tissue work. So as I warm up into her muscles here, I've definitely identified some spots where it's tight. So I'll just go in and start to isolate the individual knots and really try and pin it down with my thumb. And I like to use a steady pressure without even moving, just holding firm, steady pressure over the tight knot and it will start to release after a few breaths. Another great way to work into some of those knots is still, you know, go ahead and isolate the tight spot with your thumb. Once you have it pinned down, 
you can make some tiny, tight little circles. This helps to bring more blood into the area, so really helping open the blood vessels, carry more fresh oxygen into the cells, helping to nourish and replenish these tight muscles. And if you notice a grouping of tension where there's several tight spots all together, and I just work my thumbs into those areas, just one after another, kneading into those really tight muscles. And work it in close to the shoulder blade. A lot of times there's a lot of tension and knots built up at the scapula. That's the shoulder blade. So you're just finding those tight spots, you start to work into those areas and loosen up tension. And really, wherever you find those tight spots where it feels like a rock or something, a little pebble underneath your fingers, those are those tight areas where your partner is experiencing tension. If you can identify and isolate those spots and work with focused attention into those areas, your partner is gonna love you because those are the parts where they're feeling the most discomfort and tension. So the more you can work into those specific areas, the happier your partner is gonna be. And for a lot of people, there's tension all the way for, between the shoulder blades, up across the top of the trapezius. I mean, I could literally spend 45 minutes sometimes just massaging someone's upper back and shoulders. That just gives you an idea of how much tension can be carried there and how much time it can really take if you want to target all of those tight spots. This is why it's usually recommended to get massages regularly to do it more than once. It's kind of like going to the gym. You can't go lift weights one time and think you're going to get super buff. You got to go and keep working at it. The same is true if you want to help your muscles relax. You can't just get one massage and think that's going to fix all your problems. You've got to stay with it. Use massage as a way to maintain your strong muscles and keep healthy circulation moving through your body. And if you're dealing with something specific that you're treating with massage, then you need to go get a massage as often as you can. Just working nice and deeply here into another little tight spot that I've found. And usually once I've identified and worked most of the hot spots in an area, I'll go back in and kind of round it off with a little bit more of the Swedish strokes. Not quite so deep, but still feeling connected, still circulating any blood through the area. And that's just techniques focusing on the upper back between the shoulder blades and the spine and up in the upper shoulders. So now I'm working into the top of her shoulder blade, the back side of her shoulder blade here, working into the teres muscles. And you'll also notice that people will often carry little pockets of tension along the back side of their shoulder blade as well. It's good to work into those knots, work into those tight spots, and loosen it up. There's a really good one there, real tight. So once I've found that really tight spot, I just make little circles in the area, help bring more blood up into the tissue, and try and just invite the muscle to relax and soften. And already I can tell it softened up a little bit. And that's the thing you'll find with these deep tissue techniques. You'll notice as you work into the muscles, 
that they'll relax a little at a time. So the muscle will start to release and soften. And then what you find is that you can actually go deeper into even deeper layers of tension underneath that. So this work can really go very, very deeply into someone's body and unravel tension that's been held for a very long time. That's why these deep, deep tissue techniques are so useful. So now I'm just working my way into her mid back. I notice that the muscles on either side of her spine are fairly tight here. So I'm just working slowly, tracing my fingers down these paraspinal muscles. You can use the flat parts of your knuckles to apply a little bit more pressure. But since you're using more pressure on a broad surface, it doesn't quite go as deep, but you are able to make contact with the lower layers of muscles. And then if someone is able to handle a lot of pressure, you can actually start to rock up onto your knuckles and massage your knuckles along the tight muscles on either side of the spine. But I would be careful here because you can really achieve a tremendous amount of pressure using your knuckles. So if you do choose to use the knuckles, maybe lighten up on the pressure a little bit. I'll work my way all the way down into the low back. So I'm just massaging into the lumbar curve. We've got this quadratus lumborum, big fancy word. You can call it the QL for short this little muscle that runs from the top of your pelvis up to your lowest rib and it's a big time flexor of your back so it arches your back makes that scoop and helps keep your posture upright so for those of you sitting in chairs all the time sitting at a desk or driving a lot your posture isn't really being supported so much so your QL can become very tight. This is likely the source of a lot of your back pain, your low back pain. And so the same idea, you can work in a more general way using maybe the heel of your hand, the flat part of your thumb, anything to just warm up the muscle tissue. And then as you start to identify specific points of tension, you can work your thumb right into that tight spot and work with it until you notice it start to loosen. same as I did on the shoulders whenever I finish doing some deeper work I like to round it out with more broad superficial work just to kind of help comfort and soothe the body that just received a lot of pressure probably experiencing a lot of sensation so it's really nice to kind of finish it up with something that feels good Hopefully your partner will only remember how good they felt and then enjoy how much better they feel after the massage. So as I prepare to move on to the other side, I'm just using some nice long strokes coming all the way up from her hip onto her shoulder. And then I can even work my way up onto her neck. And with her head face down like this, the back of her neck is really well exposed, so I can massage into some of those muscles that get really tight along the back of the neck. I'm sure you guys know how that feels.
And then as I prepare to move on to the other side, I'll just bring my fingertips along either side of her neck, kind of making the transition from one side to the other. So just go ahead and favorite this video so you can come back and watch it again and practice the same sequence on the other side. You'll probably notice that the other side feels different than the first side because we are not completely symmetrical. We carry tension in different ways on different sides of our body. If you'd like to learn more about me and my practice, you can visit my website, jenhillmantherapeutictouch.com. And don't forget to thumbs up and join our Psyche Truth channel so you can get access to my complete library of massage and yoga videos. Thanks so much for watching.